Space Battleship Yamato Space Battleship Yamato, Super Su Batorishipu Yamato is a 2010 Japanese science fiction film based on the Space Battleship Yamato anime series by Yoshinobu Nishizaki and Leiji Matsumoto. The film was released in Japan on December 1, 2010. It was released on DVD and Blu-ray in Japan on June 24, 2011, and in the United States by Funimation's live-action client, Giant Ape Media, on April 29, 2014. <laughs> Plot In 2199, after five years of attacks by an alien race known as Gamelis which rendered the surface of the Earth uninhabitable and forcing humanity to evacuate underground, the Earth Defense Force launches a counter-offensive near Mars. The fleet's weapons are no match for the Gamelis, who easily wipe out much of the force. During the battle, EDF Captain Mamoru Kodi volunteers to use his damaged ship, the destroyer Yukakaze, as a shield to cover Captain Jeyuzo Okita's battleship, allowing his escape. Mamoru's ship is destroyed. On Earth, Mamoru's brother Susuma is scavenging on the irradiated surface near the half-buried wreck of the battleship Yamato, when an object impacts near him and knocks him unconscious. He awakens to find an alien message capsule. Susuma also notices that the radiation has been reduced to safe levels around him. He is rescued by Okita's returning ship and it is discovered that the capsule contains engineering schematics for a new warp drive and coordinates for the planet from which it came, Iskander. After learning what happened at Mars, Susuma accuses Okita of using his brother as a living shield and tries to hit him, but crew member Yuki Mori violently stops him. The radiation that covers the Earth's surface is slowly sinking into the ground. Scientists predict that the human race will become extinct in one year. Okita believes the hope for humanity lies at Iskander. A request for volunteers for the mission is sent out, saying that Iskander possesses a device that can remove the effects of radiation. Cody, a former EDF pilot, decides to re-enlist. Their last battleship, the long-dead Yamato, is rebuilt and enhanced with alien technology. Before the Yamato can launch, the Gamelus attack with a gigantic missile. Captain Okita gives the order to fire the yet untested wave motion cannon, which successfully destroys the incoming missile. Kodi is reunited with his old fighter squad. Yuki, who joined the EDF years ago because of her admiration for Kodi, is bitter towards him, believing he left out of fear. The Yamato crew performs their first warp test and encounters more Gamelous ships. Since the wave motion cannon is powered by the same reactor as the warp drive, the crew has to wait until the engine recharges before they can warp again. The Yamato destroys the alien capital ships, but the battle damages Yuki's fighter. Kodi launches to rescue her and is sent to the brig for disobeying orders. Shima, Kodi's former squadmate and Yamato's navigator, tells Yuki that Kodi left the service because he accidentally caused the death of his own parents and also nearly Shima's pregnant wife during a mission. After warping out of the Milky Way, the Yamato crew finds a Gamelous fighter adrift and recovers it to study. At the same time, Captain Okita goes into cardiac arrest and is revealed to be terminally ill. However, the alien pilot is still alive and possesses commando team leader Hajime Saito, in order to communicate. The alien calls himself Desla and says the Gamelus are a race with a hive mind. Kodi stuns the possessed Saito and the alien apparently is destroyed. Later, an ailing Captain Okita makes Kodi the acting captain. He also reveals that the capsule contained only the plans for the wave motion engine and the coordinates to Iskander, and the idea of the device was made up to give humanity hope. The crew discovers the captured Gamelus fighter contains a homing beacon, giving away their position. The Yamato fires its wave motion cannon to destroy a Gamelus ship, but a stealth Gamelus spacecraft latches onto the ship's occupied third bridge on the bottom of the hull and begins a self-destruct sequence. 
Cody reluctantly orders Yuki, in her fighter, to blast the third bridge support away moments before it detonates, saving the Yamato but killing several crew. Cody apologizes to Yuki for ordering her to doom their crewmates, and they have a romantic moment as the ship warps again. The Yamato arrives at Iskander, but is met by a large Gamalus fleet that sends a spacecraft to obstruct the muzzle of the wave motion cannon. With their main weapon disabled, Cody makes the dangerous choice to conduct a random warp and ends up at the opposite side of Iskander. They are surprised to see that it is lifeless, and in fact strongly resembles Earth in its presently irradiated state. It is then discovered that Gamalus and Iskander are the same planet. The crew thinks it is a trap, but Cody urges them to go ahead. He leads an attack party to the planet's surface against heavy Gamalus opposition. Much of the assault force is killed, and the remaining pilots stay behind to cover for Cody, science officer Sanada, Saito and Mori as they head for the coordinates. Once they reach the coordinates, an alien possesses Yuki's body and explains that the Gamalus and Iskander are two aspects of the same race. The alien says their planet is dying and they saw Earth as the most suitable replacement, after first killing off humanity. Iskander did not agree with this and thus they were imprisoned. Iskander implants in Yuki the ability to cleanse the radiation from Earth. As she and Kodi return to the Yamato, Saito and Sanada sacrifice themselves by destroying the Gamalus power source, destroying most of the Gamalus forces. The Yamato returns to Earth, where Okita dies. The crew rejoices at their return home, but a surviving Gamalus ship ambushes them and severely damages the battleship, disabling all of its weapons. Desla now appears and says they no longer wish to invade the Earth, however, since the majority of the Gamalus were killed, he intends to destroy the planet with his ship to avenge his race. Cody orders the surviving crew to abandon ship before he pilots the Yamato on a kamikaze attack against Desla's ship. He fires the blocked wave motion cannon, which vaporizes both spaceships. The ending shows Yuki standing with a child, Cody's son, on the Earth's surface now restored to its original state. Topic. Cast. The main cast of characters differ from that of the original series. Yuki has a more active fighting role, and two of the series' main male characters, Ihara and Dr. Sado, were recast as women. <laughs> Yamato crew Takuya Kimura as Susuma Kodi Maiza Kurakai as Yuki Mori, Black Tiger Squadron ace pilot Toshiro Yanagiba as Shiro Sanada, Chief Science, Technology Officer Naoto Agata as Daisuke Shima, Chief Navigator Reiko Takashima as Dr. Sado, Ship Doctor Toshiyuki Nishida as Hikazeman Tokugawa, Chief Engineer Hiroyuki Ikuchi as Hajime Saito, Space Commando's leader Maiko Skorik as Ihara, Communications Officer Toshihiro Yoshiba as Yasuo Nanbu, Tactical Unit Kazuki Namioka as Saburo Kato, Black Tiger Squadron Commander Takumi Saito as Akira Yamamoto, Black Tiger Squadron Member Takahiro Mura as Furuya, Black Tiger Squadron Member Tutomu Yamazaki as Captain Juzo Okita Kensuke Oada as Kenjiro Ota, Navigator Miyu Sawai as Higashida Others Shinichi Satsumi as Mamoru Kodi, Susuma's older brother and captain of the space destroyer Yukikaze ISAO Hashizume as Haikuro Todo, Earth Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Voice cast The following are actors who were involved with the original series in any capacity. 
Kenichi Agata as analyzer, robot assistant of Susuma Kodi. Masato Ibu as Desla, leader of the evil side of the Gamelus. Miyuki Weda as Iskander, originally named Starsha and leader of the good side of the Gamelus. Isao Sasaki as narrator. Topic. Production TBS Pictures, the film production arm of the Tokyo Broadcasting System TBS television network, had been planning the live-action film since 2005. Noboru Ishiguro, director and staff member of the original Space Battleship Yamato series, confirmed at his Otakon panel on July 17, 2009 that a live-action version of Space Battleship Yamato was in development. Director Takashi Yamazaki helmed the project for a planned December 2010 release with a budget of 2.2 billion yen $22 million. The film features extensive VFX produced by Yamazaki's visual effects house Shirogumi, amounting to 65 minutes of the film's running time in over 500 shots. The Daily Sports newspaper reported that 80% of the scenes incorporate the latest CGI technology to recreate the space battles from the television series. Having been moved by the 3D scenes of Avatar, Takuya Kimura, who plays Susuma Kodi, lobbied with Yamazaki to improve the quality of the movie's CGI scenes and reshoot them if possible. Because of the danger of getting over budget, he also agreed to sacrifice part of his talent fee to keep the cost down. Erika Sawajiri was originally scheduled to also star in the film as the female lead character Yuki Mori, but was replaced by Maiza Kurakai. Principal photography began on October 12, 2009, and was completed by year's end. Computer graphics, editing, and other elements of post-production took over nine months before Toho opened the film on December 1, 2010 on 440 screens in Japan. Topic. Promotion and distribution Space Battleship Yamamoto was released in Japan on December 1, 2010. On September 16, Tokyograph reported that Aerosmith's Steven Tyler wrote a song, titled, Love Lives, for the film based on an English translated script and several clips of the film. The song is also performed by Tyler and was released on November 24, 2010 a week before the film is released. A preview of the song is heard in the official trailer. The film has been licensed for international distribution by several companies: Wildside Films (France), Splendid Film (Germany), Golden Harvest (China), Hong Kong and Macau, Catchplay (Taiwan), Encore Films (Singapore), Malaysia, Brunei and Indonesia, Funimation (United States and Canada), Nexo Digital (Italy), Manga Entertainment (United Kingdom and Ireland), Madman Entertainment (Australia). New Zealand, Papua New Guinea and Fiji, and Sahamonkol Film International Co. Ltd. Thailand. Mediatree Studio made a deal with TBS Company for home video distribution of the film in Spain. The film will be released on DVD in that country under the Winds of Asia quality seal and will be sold through the Spanish division of Warner Home Video, the home entertainment division of Big Six. Hollywood film studio Warner Brothers, a subsidiary of American conglomerate Time Warner since 1990, different DVD and Blu-ray editions were released in Japan on June 24, 2011. Manabu Wakui also wrote the novelization of the film. The book further explains the story behind the 2,194 planet bomb attacks and also includes a scene where Shima's mute son, Jiro, finally speaks for the first time upon seeing the Yamato survivor's arrival. <laughs> <laughs> Box office and reception Space Battleship Yamato debuted at number one on the Japanese box office, ousting Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1. Zach Birchie of the Anime News Network rated the film AB, calling it, 
a thoroughly modernized adaptation, one that hits the gas pedal right out of the gate and doesn't stop for a moment, unashamed to just try and entertain the hell out of you. The Japan Times gave the film a positive review. The reviewer said the pressure of releasing a film with much corporate backing and expectations by die hard fans put much stress on the production team, but they were able to have sufficient entertaining fare for kids and make serious drama work. The Hollywood Reporter stated that the movie had a sleek futurist look without losing sight of the 70s illustration style of the original series in spite of a small budget compared with other Western sci fi movies. On the other hand, Christoph Mark of the Daily Yomiuri said the film lacked gravity and criticized the production design as too reminiscent of the Battlestar Galactica remake. 